But you're a mighty pirate. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> I jumped a mile at that. <laughs>
Isn't that great? Yeah, great. What would you say if I told you that I was an unrehabilitated pirate? I'd say you were being a. He's a fearsome pirate, isn't he? Baby, that outfit is making me hungry. Don't get fresh, local boy. Why? Why did Guybrush turn into a creep in this one? Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Is that a new kind of frappuccino? Hungry for ca oh, hungry for carrots, exactly. A malevolent voodoo talisman of gut-wrenching power. I'm trying to stop an undead evil pirate from assembling it. Ooh, that sounds exciting! What do the pieces look like? One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Oh, you know, I believe the local cliff diving competition has a trophy that looks like that. Ooh, cliff diving. So, there was a picture of it in the travel guide. Ah. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm. Nope. Can't think of anything. Bronze pirate hat. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, huh? Sorry. I'm drawing a big old... Well, that's okay. She's given us one lead, and that's one lead more than we had previously. Let me know. Grim Fandango looks really good, but this game looks like Resident Evil with the vendor characters on a photorealistic background. Not only that, but Grim Fandango is a heck of a lot better. I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Fine! Uh, I'll just be on my way. Ta! Ta! Can we find that cup I was looking at? Oh, what was that then? Ah, uh, look at Starbuck in the air sign. I saw an empty cup in the window and now I want that empty cup because I feel like because I was looking at it, it means I should be able to pick it up. Right? Thanks for the lurk, Terra. Uh, enjoy your Sunday night relaxing. Oh, we love a Sunday night relaxing. This is my Sunday night relaxing. A little gaudy to have a sign that big inside the store. You all relax me. Let's talk to the clerk. Clerk, 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 clerk. Can I help you, sir? Oh. Mr. Jones, it's happened again. Grog me. Sorry, sir, but we don't serve straight grog here. Yeah, it's tank controls and everything. Nice grog flavored coffee drinks to choose from. Grog flavored? It's a synthetic grog substitute. Quite good, really. I'm one of those then. Excellent choice, sir. One iced grogachino. 350 jambalaya bucks. What? I don't have 350 jambalaya bucks. Oh, well, I'm sorry then, sir. It's well worth it, though. We're offering free refills with every purchase. I'll come back when I have something figured out. Have we need jambalaya books, then. Visit us again soon. Because we need a coffee for some reason? So is that why we want the empty cup, so we can get three refills? But how... Hmm... Wait, what was that? Look at stuck. Can we pick up a coffee cup? I can't reach him. Ah. Uh. Let's let's leave this place. See the coffee cup's right there, isn't it? I can't get it from here. There's a window pane in the way. Oh, it, we must be able to get. Surely that's surely that's something we can get. As you can tell, my cough isn't getting any better. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, okay, we're gonna... Still offering that free refill? You betcha, sir. I'll take care of that for you. There we go. Can't get enough of my sweet coffee goodness, can you? Uh, just get me my Gragaccino, please. Alrighty, coming right Vera, up. Vera, how's it going? You alright? Can we put, put that away? Okay, I've got a cup of coffee in my pocket now. I should have got some... Uh, I should have got some cough medicine or lozenges or something when I was out. And I forgot. i tell you what I did pick up, though. I picked up another PlayStation 2. So that's three PlayStation 2s I've got so far. Uh, I've no idea if it works. I've not tested it yet. 
Planet Threepwood. Z. It, was, it was 20 quid. I was kind of like, oh, okay. Most famous escapades. Taste culinary. And look who it is. It's Murray, the skull. Welcome to Planet Threepwood, the evilest theme restaurant on it. The evilest theme restaurant. Knock it off, Murray. We love Murray, the dem demonic skull. Are you sure you don't want to be a part of the ultimate insult? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, we've talked to him already, haven't we? But I'm not crazy. I've got to go. Stop by any time for more pirate-themed fun and evil. Oi, <laughs> <laughs> mateys. Set sail for family fun at Planet Threepwood. See souvenirs of Guybrush Threepwood's... You can glue them together, you get PlayStation 6. Oh, that's a pretty good idea, actually. One of them doesn't work. It's kind of like my uh, spares and repairs PlayStation 2. Um, and I have, like, kind of... Frankenstein stuff out of it into my other PlayStation 2 to make it work again. The best and only fish. Planet Threepwood. This place must be good. <laughs> you attempt to make the chips. The best and only fish. To be honest, people on, people on Twitter already made that joke and I was pretending that they didn't. So, I certainly was not the first person to make that joke. Nor will he be that la Nor will he be the last. We can open, we can pretend, it's fun to Today's pretend. Is Swordmaster's Delight, Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger, Lobster LeChuck, and Elaine's Caesar Salad. Big mighty pirates like myself can't live on salads. Today's special drinks are Largo's Lemonade and Fat Fizz. Fat Fizz is what the ladies call me. Eh, at least this place has a bar. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where do we go? Oh, where the hell am I now? You got a rating in how many dad? No, this is dad jokes. I am a dad, and I tell dad jokes, so this is a a dad joke friendly place, you know. Yes. Would you like a free pirate caricature? Oh, I would love one. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Wonderful. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I like about pirates? They're so active and healthy. You know, all that sword fighting and sailing, really outdoorsy stuff. What's your favorite pirate activity? Uh. I love the smell of. There we go. We're going for the apocalypse now. Uh, smells like reference. Victory. And of course, gunpowder in the late afternoon tends to smell a little more like weak old macaroni, which is why I always try to have my gun battles before lunch. You know what else I like about pirates? They're wacky, madcap accessories. Pegs, patches, parrots, hooks. They're just so darned whimsical. What's your favorite pirate? Whimsical pirates. Nothing makes a bold fashion statement like a pirate with a parrot on his shoulder. I'm enjoying this conversation. I'm a creepy jerk who tortures small animals for my personal amusement. You know what I can't figure out about pirates? I shudder to think. What do they do in their spare time? They can't spend their entire lives fighting, sailing, and... Waiting. Drinking grog. I guess not. Of course not. So, what do you think pirates do in their off hours? Oh my god, here, here's a meta joke. If what I've heard is true, more and more pirates are spending their free time on the internet. I have no idea what it is, but outside of the See, this game's from the 90s, so that's actually a pretty funny joke that Done. Here you are. piracy was really becoming a thing on the internet at the time. And that's, that, I don't know, that's, that's tickled me a bit. Thanks. Oh, now I've got a caricature for some reason. Just what we wanted. Look at LucasArts mug. Wow. Seems to have their grubby hands into everything around here. Remember LucasArts? I can't reach it. I guess they couldn't find anything else interesting when they were stealing stuff out of my closet. We talked to the pretty lady. Hello, waitress. Hi, I'm Elaine, and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. Would you like to hear about today's special? Is this voice actor the guy who's the uncle slash friend in Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh, what, the, uh, the guy doing the caricatures? I don't know, maybe. I'd love to hear about today's special. We call it Stan's Budget Bologna Sub. It's four pieces of bologna, ham, and turkey smothered in three types of cheese on... Wait, have we seen ha uh, Sam in... Not Sam. Have we seen Stan in this game yet? I can't remember. 
What kind of place is this anyway? This is Planet Threepwood, one of a chain of restaurants dedicated to showcasing the exploits of the Tri-Island area's most famous pirate, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, that explains why it looks like my life has been vomited all over the walls. Excuse me? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm not too thrilled about this place. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. What? Everyone knows that Guybrush Threepwood is about six foot four, has a scar about yay long over his left eye, and a big black parrot. No, really, I can prove it. Ask me something only Guybrush Threepwood would know. Okay. What are your parents' names? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, John and Martha. George and Gracie, Herman and Eloise. Uh, I'm gonna go with George and Gracie. George and Gracie? Ha! Everyone knows their names were Harry and Carrie. Well, I didn't. Then maybe you aren't really. <laughs> I guess not. So, who are you supposed to be? I'm Lane Marley, the pirate princess of Melee Island. Hey, baby. You can be my. Oh! God, guy, must stop doing that. Whose brilliant idea was this, anyway? Planet Threepwood is a wholly owned subsidiary of Ozymandrill Enterprises. I should have guessed. I think I'm ready to order. What'll it be? Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger sounds good. I thought it might. And to drink? Uh, oh, definitely a fat fizz. I'll have a fat fizz. A popular choice, sir. And how will you be paying? I was thinking of running a tab. We don't run tabs at Planet Threepwood. There are still too many deadbeat pirates hanging around to start handing out lines of credit. You know. Deadbeat pirates. Yeah. Like Guy Let Bush. You know when you've got some way to pay for a meal. Maybe I need to win this uh, diving competition. I wonder what the secret is. Eh, who cares anyway? Pardon me. Ah, uh, yeah. You're a little goofy looking for a pirate, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> I like his shorts. Pirate don't I wish now. Pirates are the coolest. I'm a vacationing pet shop clerk, don't you know? Don't you know? Aren't you afraid of encountering real pirates? Oh, <laughs> nah. Everyone knows that Ozymandrill swept the island clean of those. Oh, what's the? Well, thanks to him, I can indulge my passion for pirate memories. What state is, what American state is, is, is his accent from? Like fucking... Pirate. <laughs> Missouri or something like that. I don't know. Where was Fargo set again? And don't anybody say Fargo. <laughs> what would you say if I told you you were looking at a real pirate right now? Oh, get out of here right now. Real pirates have scars and parrots and peg legs, you know, stuff like that there. You look more like one of those squeaky clean pirate performers that Mandrill's hired to entertain the tourists. Three plus Minnesota, Minnesota's what I meant. But I am a real pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, don't be stupid now. The real Guybrush Threepwood is over seven feet tall. Where's a hat? Dripping with the blood of his enemies, and he has the ghost of his favorite parrot perched on his shoulder there. Right there, yeah. Wow, I'm scared yeah. than I thought. I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. Is that one of Planet Threepwood's toy giveaways? No. It's Let's a say of yes. Don't say yes. Power. They'll be happy. I'm trying to stop an undead evil pirate from assembling it. Oh, cripes. A quest? This is just like my pirate role-playing games at home. What does this ultimate insult... Oh, uh, I have no idea how they say Minnesota. Has anybody seen... Any, anyone who's on TikTok? Uh, have you seen that lovely goth lady who does uh who, who's obviously from minnesota and, and can talk with quite a strong minnesotan accent and she does like um she does dirty talking times <laughs> in <laughs> with that fucking accent saying like really stereotypical stuff with, but with like a dirty bent <laughs> i can't I, I, I wish i subscribed to it because then i could show you but um Whenever she pops up on my uh, One of the pieces looks like feed, I think it's quite funny. Ah, that sounds like my yellow Avenger action figure back home in Ashkash. Uh, Ashkash. 
One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm. <laughs> nope, I, uh, I guess I don't have the experience points to come up with a clue. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, eh? Oh, that sounds like the silver monkey mug they use for special... Oh! Here at Planet 3 Do we have a lead? You think the silver monkey mug is one of the pieces, huh? I'd risk half my hit points on it. Oh, yeah. Listen, I want to... I, want, I look at TikTok. I post stuff to TikTok. Uh, I've had just about enough talking about the... And I'm... For now. Well, 43. I had to think about that, then. I'll just be on my way. Bye bye now. Bye bye. There's nobody here. Bet there's someone here when a customer tries to leave, though. Looks like they managed to get their hands on some of Elaine's stuff. Glove, music box, plastic ice cream cone. Uh, Elaine's gonna have an aneurysm when she finds out about this. Oh my. Elaine's gonna have a fit if she sees this. They made her look fat. I pushed up, be so judgy. I want to go talk to that lady in Star Buccaneers again just in case I've missed anything out. Because I was too fucking focused on that. Uh... I was too focused on that cool. The cool kids like myself, I'm a streamer. Touristy stuff mostly. Lots of oh. coffee and a Star Buccaneers logo coffee cup. It's an overpriced, trendy mug with the Star Buccaneers logo. Can I pick this up? Without an like coffee beans. Oh my word! Really? <laughs> Just mm. half inch to a mug. You almost gave me a heart attack! Pardon me? Yes? What are you doing? I'm picking up some bags of this absolute... You're also too old. You're not too old for TikTok. Just get on TikTok. It's fun. You can't get coffee like this at home. Of course you can. There are thousands of Star Buccaneers. Yeah, but these have Jambalaya Island stamped on them. My friends at home will be so you can, envious. You can look at funny people and also attractive ladies doing dances. And it's great. Be on my way. Ta! That's TikTok. Well, this is my TikTok anyway, because, you know, it's what I... That's what I like. Uh, oh, pick up. That delicious mini bagel you're about to sample has Star Buccaneer's own Schmearwiz on it. A wonderfully delightful blend of artificial cream cheese and salmon lock bits with the convenience of a spray-on can. Um, great. We're giving away free samples today as a promotion, so please help yourself. Oh, I absolutely will. Thank you. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. <laughs> Good gravy, that tastes horrible. <laughs> Eat juicy wad of chewed up bagel chunks and smear with... No. No, absolutely not. Let's put it in my pocket, though, just in case I need the chunks of smear. Uh, chunks of bagel, should I say, which smear with or whatever it was called on it. Yeah. <coughs> One second. <laughs> oh, my word. Coughing away, making me choke. Oh, let's move the house point there. Oh, well, I got two things that I hadn't had before. Oh, I just realized what that noise I thought that noise was the game glitching out and me getting like the, the menu sounds of it moving along. It's not, it's. And drink from our one of a kind. It's his flipping, it's his mouth flapping away. It's good, clean, pirating fun that's safe for the whole family at Planet Three Woods. Pardon me? Yes. What kind of a pirate are you? A pirate? A pirate? Oh, heaven forbid, old bean. I'm just a humble tourist. That's a great ensemble. Isn't it, though? My wife picked it out for me. Oh, no, he's a wife guy. Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Is that a fruit-flavored drink? Over I bet 
<laughs> those are great shots, not even ironic. They are. I think you'd look great in those, Vera. You should get some. Supposed to be somewhere on Jambalaya Island. Ooh, a scavenger hunt. I'll ask him about the bronze hat because we're stood in front of a bronze what? statue and we've had two clues about the other ones. Uh, One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. A bronze pirate hat? Oh, that's interesting. Why? Take a good look at this statue, boyo. Boyo. Do you really think the bronze hat I'm looking for? Oh, yeah, it looks like it's, the top of his head's been ripped off. Look at it. Be my guess. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, eh? I'm sorry. I... One of the pieces looks like a hmm. golden man. No, okay. I thought you wouldn't know about those. Just about enough. What are you doing? I'm admiring the craftsmanship of this statue of Jack. Clicky clacky more. Yes. Pirate, Tiny Lafitte. What made Tiny so famous? He was the friendly pirate of Jambalaya Island. Oh, the friendly pirate. And gave to the nice. And he always said please and thank you. Twice. He's the perfect symbol of the new, non-threatening Jambalaya Island. Hmm. Was there really a tiny Lafitte, or was he dreamed up by someone's marketing department? Oh, he's real, all right. <laughs> I always assumed, you know, Colonel Sanders from KFC, I always assumed that he was made up, but it turns out, no, he's a real person. Uh, what happened to the top of the which was very shocking to me. I always thought it was just a sort of dreamt up by a marketing department to sell chicken, but no. Pirates from nothing at all stole the statue's hat, but I don't believe it. They do a pretty good job of keeping those types off. I hear me eyes. <laughs> <sighs> I'd rather not talk about Tiny right now. Fine. Fine. Sorry to bother you. No bother at all, Bean. Where did he say they took uh, the pirates? Went to. Yeah. Can't. Nope. What happened? Looks like someone gave time. I'm not sure. Rumor has it that some vandalous pirates from Nutton at all spit out. Nutton at all. There we go. Right. I need to remember that. Sorry to bother you. No bother. You know when you, you hear a clue and your brain registers that you heard a clue but also does not actually register what that clue was? That's what just happened to me then. Micro groggery. <laughs> groggery. Personally, I prefer the macro sized grogs. Yes. I'm, I'm with. I'm with Guybrush. Give me all the proper size grogs. Come on in and enjoy some handcrafted homebrewed grog. Is that Carla at the. Yeah, it is. Hi, Carla. Carla, where? What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? She's having a good old time getting stereotypically drunk. It looks like you're trying to drink yourself into oblivion on crappy microgrog. Hey, that's a great idea. Thanks for the suggestion. You want to help me find the pieces of the ultimate insult? I'll tell you what, by gosh. Brush guy. Feet good. I'll stay here and keep my eye out for any pieces of the ultimate insults that come by. I think that's probably for the best at this um, point. All right, then. Barkeep! Margrog, you abysmal little mastard. <laughs> ah, you, I like that one. You abysmal mastard. How do you like this place? It's horrible. The grog is weaker than my pinky finger. Oh, and clearly very weak, yes. Short fights and all the chips have got its cheese on them. Well, if this place is so awful, why don't you leave? Two reasons. One, this is the only place a pirate can find a drink on this godforsaken, family-friendly heckhole of an island. And B, I think someone has stolen my legs. Why? Because I can't feel them anymore. I'll let you get back to your, uh, chore leave. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Talk to Bartender. Here we go. Can I do you for? I'd like a drink, please. You got do I have to pay for said drink? No. Well, they <coughs> give you the good
good stuff. Ah. I can give you this new low inebriation grog like beverage. It's called Grog Junior. We developed it here in our micro groggery for people just like yourself. It's got just enough alcohol in it to stun a skinny parrot. Well, what's the point of that? Here, try some and tell me what you think. Maybe later. So we got weak grog now, okay. Grog Junior. So what is that thing over there with a saddle on it? That yeah, ma. Is the menacing mechanical manatee. That's what I said. What the heck is a manatee? The manatee is a marine mammal that grazes on seagrass and other plant life in shallow waters. They are typically nine to ten feet long and weigh about a thousand pounds. That doesn't sound menacing at all. Sounds more like a swimming cow. Oh. Will you try to Funnily enough, that's what they are, swimming cows. It gets. It's believed that sailors used to mistake them for mermaids, which is really weird. And this manatee talk is too strange. Okay. Why does this island seem so wholesome? Well, the inhabitants of this island, in conjunction with Ozymandrill Enterprises, have worked very hard to keep this island friendly and clean and family compliant. Family compliant? Yeah. I acknowledge the lurk. I'm not going to call you out. Surly ragamuffin pirate types around here. That's Just in case you don't want to be. Role models. Role models? You sound surprised. So you're not one of those scruffy, undesirable pirates that are always scaring little kids, are you? Oh, uh, no, no. I try to. Plan <laughs> Okay, I will call you out. I sex toy. How's it going? That is a tremendous username. I seem to remember you following at some point. Yes, you did. Back in July. There we go. I knew I'd seen the name before. I knew it. I knew it. It's a, it's, it's a great username. I do approve. Uh, you'll fit in nicely here, I think. <laughs> it's all part of the play. You too. Can we go on the manatee? Well, what was that then that's... Talk to Carl. Okay, talk to Carl. Go on. That doesn't look so menacing. I have no idea how. I draw the line at putting mechanical manatees in my pants. Yeah, fair enough, man. Can we have a go on that? About talk to the bartender. Hi. Howdy. What can I do you for? I might have missed that. So what's the deal with that manatee thing again? It's Carl. What oh, does that mean? We're very proper here. Manatee. Yes, you're very proper, aren't you, Vera? We definitely don't talk about boobs. And Kim's here as well, eh, Kim? How's it going? What does this make? Well, mostly for entertainment. But as a promotional special, we're currently giving away a Planet Three Wood coupon. Ooh, a coupon. A monkey mug meal to anybody who could ride the manatee at the highest setting. I'd like to take a crack at riding that manatee thing. I bet you fall straight off when there's like a clue where you've got to sellotape yourself on or glue yourself on or pin yourself on it. You was lurking. Excellent. Well, we love a lurker. Lurk away. Ready. Ooh. Whoa. Or nut all over my stream because you can now with my new follower remote. Uh, which I'm doing for, for November. Because instead of no nut November, which I think is a very silly idea. Look, he fell off. Uh, uh, we should do non stop nut November because. You know. <laughs> nothing to be. Uh, the trick is to stay on the manatee. <laughs> nothing to be lost with a, se a healthy sexual appetite, eh? That's what I say. And to be quite honest, some of the conversation around No Not November is actually really toxic. So, nut away! Exclamation mark nut, in fact, if you want to nut all over the stream. Oh, what are we doing here? What have we got? Where are we going? What's that? Oh, it's the high diving competition. Oh, that glitched a second. <laughs> Pens all round, fantastic. You'll uh, pass. <laughs> thank you, my friend. There you go, thank you. <laughs> that my skills have atrophied as of late, though. I'm not <laughs> That was one of the best plank dives I've ever seen. And who are you that would take such pains to flatter an aging plank diver? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I'm a mighty pirate. Ah, a pirate. It's ah, a pirate. 
genuine pirate on Jambalaya Island these days. Sounds like he's saying pirate. Well, Mr. Muddy Parrot. My name is Muddy Parrot. And I am the greatest prank diver in the world. Are you really the greatest diver in the world? Yes. I have spent years searching the planet. Maybe that's just your choice in candles. Oh, my word. Dive back to no avail. How sad. What are you doing on Jambalaya Island? Ah, that is an interesting story. Is it, is it though? Story? About it. <laughs> is it a short story? Oh, please be a short story. I was prepared to hang up my trunks forever. Ew. At this crucial moment, Senior Ozzy Mandrill approached me with an intriguing proposition. Am I old enough? Oh, fireworks! That's what I can hear. So what was that? Not fireworks, you idiot! You fireworks! I. I'm not listening to this, am I? Amounts of money to have oh, well. the world's greatest prank diver come. I forgot it was bonfire night last night. I took my headphones off. I was like, "What the hell is that noise?" I figured, why not the poor kids, they didn't get any fireworks yesterday. They weren't bothered. They didn't give a shit. But... Besides, there's always the chance that I forgot. I forgot it was coming up. Who can finally challenge my skills? Okay, question for chat. Question for chat. Does, does anyone else feel like October just kind of happened and it came and went? I mean, it was my birthday and stuff and Halloween, and it feels like October just kind of flitted by, and now it's November suddenly. And November's flittering by. Good, okay, not just me then. Time's broken. Good to know. Has your arrangement with Ozzy Mandrill proven challenging? Sadly, no. But at least I'm receiving a steady stream of income. <laughs> Moves, okay. You did dress up for Halloween that has gone already. Well, it's not like I ever go to a Halloween party or anything. How did you get into plank diving anyway? Ah, that is a story rife with melancholy. Are you sure you wish to hear it? Uh, go on. I love stories. Very well. It begins with my father, Count Francisco Alvarez de Pollo. He was a man of peculiar moods and eccentricities. In one of his so <coughs> lighter moments, he strap in, we get the story. Marco. Much to the consternation of his wife and extended family. Why the fuss? I take it you have never been in a public swimming pool. Pirates don't have much use for him. Ah, then allow me to elaborate. At the tender age of six, I was sent to my first swimming lesson. Oh, how I happily splashed about, taking to the water like a worm to dirt. He was mounting on Halloween. So my name. Marco! I turned to before I could find who had called my name, everyone in the pool shouted in response, Poyo! I couldn't understand what was happening. Why were they shouting my name in such an annoying scene, song, manner? Why were they closing their eyes to my obvious torment? I, I tried to get them to stop, but they just kept chanting my name over and over again. Marco! Poyo! Unable to tolerate it any further. I climbed to the highest diving board in the pool and cannonballed into the center of the taunting masses as I hit the water with a resounding splash. The haunting chants of my classmates finally gave way to comforting screams of terror. What a horrible story. Yes, but at least I gained a lucrative career out of my childhood trauma. And that's the most important bit, isn't it? The best I did for dressing up for Halloween was... Uh... I put a mask and a hood on to do my Halloween stream. And I took a few pictures as well for uh, for, for Rugs. Uh, Rugs Tickles, who, who sometimes is, is in here, uh, she was having a, a Halloween thing as well. And I took a few pictures for her Halloween outfit competition, I want to say. That was about it. Uh... There was a vague attempt. Yeah. Hardly. If I were to compete against everyone who want to get their hands on a solid gold old world diving trophy, I'd be diving 24 hours a day. Oh, so who do you dive against? The judges panel over there does an excellent job of weeding out the poseurs from the serious divers. I bet I cannot be anything but a poseur against, like against uh, so far. Who want to dive yeah. Against me? I suddenly lost the ability to talk. Ah, thank you, little friend, for bringing...
ringing laughter back into my life. What's so funny? Don't tell me you're serious. As serious as scurvy, diver boy. It's not wise to trifle with me, Mr. Thripwood. I am the greatest diver. It's the greatest diver. Very well. The gauntlet has been thrown. Oh, you made those devil horns. Oh, yeah, did, did, yeah that's... Certified? Do you think? I didn't, yeah. Uh, who accepts the challenges of every two-shilling braggart that comes my way? Um, yeah. Sat there dressed up as the main guy using mod streams for, but he decided to stream as well, so it was basically him modding something. I've got mods for this stream, and they never turn up. Quite sad. Maybe one day I'll sort out some mods, but... I, I never really needed them. I just quiet here, you know, it's quiet. I don't know how many people I've currently got watching, but, you know, it's never many, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I've gone back out. I wanted to speak to the... Bosun and Bosun's baby seal oil. Oh, yeah, we'll take the baby seal oil. oil is meant to be used on baby seals rather than... Don't Cozy, there we go, yeah. Okay, I cannot take... His baby seal oil. Oh, am I getting changed? Ah, oh, diving outfit. Yes. There we go. Oh. Well, do you know what? We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Let's go along to this part here. And there's like the whole other side of the island that I can't get to yet, I don't think. Talk to stay Stan. It's Stan. Oh, he looks terrible. Stan, what's happened to you? Tell me about these pamphlets. Do yourself a favor and read them. They're full of all sorts of great information about Stan's timeshares. Take one. They're free. That's the kind of... Oh, I don't like this, this version of Stan. Oh, this is hideous. I thought you were selling life insurance. Turned into a dead end. Get it? Dead end? <laughs> Seriously, no money in it anymore. It just dried up. Why? All my clients were dying and becoming ghosts just to collect on their policies. Oh, well, gotta remain flexible, kid. You know what I mean? Timeshares are the wave of the future. That's not the that's not the usual Stan voice actor, is it? He do, it ooh, sounds wrong. He looks terrible. How can you work inside on a day like this? Why are you really outside? Just a mm, small problem with the local vermin. It's the problem that's small. The vermin themselves are actually quite large. But it's nothing to worry about. It'll be taken care of right away. It's just a minor setback. What's important is that the timeshare units are, legally speaking, practically vermin-free. Oh, I feel really disappointed by Stan here. My good man. Looking for a second but the, 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 what's this arm waving? Is what this? Look no that's, further. that's not how we. Can't we can't not to take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity. And for the next 24 hours, for just listening to my pitch, you get a coupon for a free. At least they've got the pattern thing right, where the pattern doesn't actually move, which is always funny. Void where prohibited by law in the state of Wyoming. Give me the pitch. Smart decision, my friend. You'll thank me after you've heard about this exciting opportunity. Stay with me. The full pitch takes just under three hours. Oh my God. I'm stunned by what I have to tell you. What's the best investment for your hard-earned cash? The stock market? No, too volatile. Duck food futures? No. Ducks have short lifespans. Porcelain figurines. <laughs> uh oh, oops, too fragile. What then? Two words, time, share. That's right, real estate. Let me show you how a small investment today can compound into an incredible fortune in just a few short generations. So, who's excited and ready to invest, huh? He's asleep. Not surprised. Huh? Huh? Oh. You must have dozed off, pal. Oh, sorry. Hey! Sorry, pal. That's gonna miss out on this once in a millennium opportunity. Come back when you're ready to hear the whole pitch. You know what? Oh, interesting. I need to hear the whole pitch for some reason. You ever heard of something called the ultimate insult? Why, are you looking for one? Yes. Do you know where I can get it? Not just now, but perhaps I can acquire some. If the markup is substantial. How many units do you think I could push? Never mind. Working for Ozzy Mandrill. Ozzy Mandrill? Let me tell you something about Ozzy Mandrill, kid. Ozzy Mandrill doesn't know squat about being a real 
entrepreneur. He doesn't know the thrill of haggling, the ecstasy of a hard-earned sale, the agony of a lost customer. All Aussie wants are orderly lines of zombies queuing up to purchase his prefabricated, pre-priced, pre-processed garbage. I ask a kid, where's the fun in there, huh? Where's the love? He wouldn't hire you? Not even an interview. I'll just be on my way. All right, what else can I... What else can I grab here? Stan's desk is outside. They can't be good for the finish. Stan's new building sure is festive looking. Hmm. Go have a look at the place. What's this on the ledge here? Jar of glue, I'll take that. Glue myself to the manatee, I'm sure. Now that's a beautiful beach. If you think it's pretty you now, beautiful beach. How much nicer it'll be with the addition of three dozen picturesque timeshare holiday bungalows. Oh, mate, no. Possibly be an improvement. Variety, son, the spice of life. An empty beach is about as exciting as a blank canvas, know what I mean? Not really. Stan's new building sure is festive looking. The door seems to be locked. Ah, it's a beautiful day. How can you work inside on a day like this? Okay, so we can't get in. Do we need to get in? Um, go into my inventory. Oh yeah, I forgot about this weird little creature. It's your dad. Got the glue. Got the brochure. Wimpy grog. Bagel chunks. The mug. Look at the ah! Oh, look at the caricature. That's wonderful. Bragacino there, that's what we want. Uh, oh no, don't do that. Drink up a Gragacino. Woohoo! Talk about your eye openers. I feel like I just drank an entire coffee plant. There we go. Um, put the empty cup away and then talk to Stan again. What can I do for you, young man? more about this timeshare deal. It'd be my pleasure, my pantaloon friend. You have to be touched in the head not to take advantage of this. Right, let's see if we can last the three hours this time, huh? Bonus just for listening to my pitch. I'll give you a coupon for a free monkey mug at Planet Three Point. Ah, so that's what we're doing. One for customer well <coughs> Void where prohibited by law and in the state of Wyoming. Give me the pitch. Smart decision, my friend. You'll thank me after you've heard about this exciting opportunity. Stay with me. The full pitch takes just under three hours. Eep. Be prepared to be stunned by what I have to tell you. What's the best investment for your hard-earned cash? The stock market? No, too volatile. Duck food. Give me your cash. Oh, ducks have short life span. Subscribe to my channel. That's what you should do with your cash. Uh oh oops. Too fragile. What then? Two words. Never mind timeshare. Sure, that's right. Real estate. Let me buy subscriptions to my channel. Incredible fortune in just a few short generations. So, who's excited and ready to invest? Huh? Uh, gosh, that. Don't worry about it. People can lurk all they want. Gotta check with the missus. Wouldn't want to want. I like chatty people, but lurkers are good as well. I mean, we're getting them stats up, right? Well, thanks for listening. Have this coupon for a free monkey mug at Planet Threepwood from your own. There we go, a monkey mug. Imagine being one of those streamers that are called lurkers out and stuff, eh? Imagine. I'll just be <laughs> on my way. You can't afford to wait too long. This deal won't last. Occasionally, you see like clips of streamers who are being like really snotty about people who lurk. It's like, why would you? They're there. They're helping your stats. They are, even if you're quiet, you're, you know, they're part of the community. Oh, I didn't want to go that way, for fuck's sake. Back off slowly. No. There we go. Right. I'm going back into the town. I want to, I want to use the glue on the manatee and see if I'm right. Where was the manatee? Oh, it was in the... It was in the microbrewery, wasn't it? That's this one. Here we go. Micro groggery, not the micro brewery. What's a micro brewery? He would ask. It's not, it's a micro groggery. Can we just go in, please? 
Oh, this cough. Ugh. <laughs> Who's afraid of a sea cow? <laughs> oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Guy, brush three. What? Don't want to scare the customers. Fuck you. Jar, jar of glue. I'll just splatter some glue on here like this. There we go. I forget what I'm getting for this. It better be something good. Hi. Howdy. What can I do you for? So what's the deal with that? It's cop. I want another shot at taming the manatee. Here we go. Here we go. Here we, here we, here we go. Okay, I'm going to start at the bedwetter setting, which shouldn't be any trouble for a stout young guy like you. Ready? Problem is, once you get on, how do you get back off again without ripping your pants Bring right? Or maybe he just wants to be attached to that manatee from now until the end of time. Yahoo! Not bad! Okay, now let's increase the difficulty until we get to the top setting. I don't like the, the, the crash zone around it. It's very small. You could fall off that quite easily in two hours later. Oh my god. You fall off that and do yourself a mischief, you know what I'm saying? Two hours is a long time to be pelvic for that thing like that. I should know. I thought we'd lose you on the grazing frenzy setting, but you made it. You've joined an elite fraternity, my friend. Nice. What do we got? Many have survived their rides on the savage manatee. Come on over to the bar, partner, and I'll get you your monkey mug meal coupon. Oh wait, I thought I already had one of those. Isn't that what I got off the tan? So I've got two now. Well, you know what? Let's go use them. Stack the coupon. Yeah, maybe I do. Do I? What? Oh, it's I. That's the wrong button. I don't think that would help anything. Nah. It's not having it. <laughs> it's true. He could take... He could go and take a date with him now. He could take, like, a lane. To, to Planet Threatwood, and they could go together and have a have a free meal together. That'd be lovely, right, wouldn't it? Set sail for family fun at Planet Threepwood. See souvenirs of Guybrush Threepwood's most famous escapades. Taste culinary delights. Approved by Culinary Delights. <coughs> uh, there's a server. Okay, so oops. If anyone should eat here for free. Right, okay, so we've got the... I think I'm supposed to present this after I order some food. Oh, okay. Uh... So we'll, we'll reorder then. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. I think I'm ready to order. What'll it be? So we'll go for the Mighty Pirate Burger again. I thought it might. And to drink? Uh, and the Fat Fizz, because I just love the name. A popular choice, sir. And how will you be paying? Uh, Check out this Mega Monkey Meal ticket. There we go. Very good, sir. Please note that due to the unexpectedly high demand, we are no longer providing the entree portion of the meal for coupon-bearing customers. However, you will still receive your complimentary beverage in the ceremonial monkey mug. Excellent. Monkey mug. That's what we want. At least I think that's what we want because they keep mentioning it. Waitress is kind of hot. It's a silver mug that looks a lot like a monkey head. Spooky. Ooh! Pick that up. That's right. So we got... 
One part of the monkey. What? I wasn't gonna keep it, really. There must be some way to grab it, but make them think it's still here. I don't think he'd like that. After all the work I went through to get this thing, there's no way I'm just gonna drink from it. Hmm. I didn't mean to do that. It's gonna get it shattered again. The monkey mug. Uh, I wasn't gonna keep it, really. I want to keep the monkey mug. There must be some way to grab it, but make them think it's still here. Excuse me. The fact I can talk to him while sat here makes me think I should be talking to him. Don't be greedy. But I want one with me in the monkey mud. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, all right. What's your favorite pirate activity? If you ask me, nothing can compare to the mm. thrill of mine. But you should always be careful to lift from the legs. You know what else I like? The wacky peg. Do you know what? Skip this, because we, uh... I should... What are they thinking? You heard all of this. So... I think the most... Of course, they usually just... Books. Mm -hmm. Done. Here you are, sir. Thank you for your patronage, and enjoy your visit to the happiest island on Earth. Thanks. All right, let's look at my inventory. What am I doing? Excuse me. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to talk to him. No. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, I stopped talking to him. Inventory. So. The monkey mug caricature. MP Grogkin. I don't think that would help anything. The caricature won't stay on the mug by itself. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case... Oh, wait, no, I wanted to... Actually, I want to use... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Use that with the glue. No, I yeah. stick this on something. Okay, so the sticky monkey mug caricature. Yeah. We go on this. Gee, this might actually pass as the real thing. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got the fake monkey mug. With monkey mug. He looks around. The old switcheroo. There we go. That one's so difficult, that one. I must go. My planet needs me. He's a yeah. He's a right pirate, isn't he? He's a. <coughs> so we got the silver monkey head now. What next, though? How do we get to that? Oh, what was the place called? Nothing at all. How do we get there? Can I get there? How, do, how does one get there? Wait, if I go back to the docks, maybe? Oi, mateys! Set sail for family fun at Planet... Hi, Maury! Are we ready to set sail again? A 
Ahoy there, Mr. Ignatius Cheese. Ahoy yourself, Captain. What can I do for you? Not yet, not in at all. There we go. Hold on, does this work? Oh, God. Wait, hold on. Not in uh, at all. Hey! Recognizes the just the fact it's a command. Uh. Assemble the crew, Mr. Cheese. We're shoving off. I'm afraid not, sir. Why not? This whole ship is in. I'm afraid not, sir. Fixing before it goes shoving up again. I got your fixing right here, cheese boy. Besides, shouldn't you be looking for that penultimate insane dingus? I guess, but I really wanted to go for a cruise. Or well, maybe later. Darn. Carry on, Mr. Cheese. Aye, aye, Captain. Can we use the rowboat? Yes. Oh shit! Okay. He just wants to talk. Hello, who are you? What do you want? Don't fire cannonballs at me. Are you crazy? You could have killed me! Crazy? I'm not the one! Crazy like a fox. The rules and regulations of nothing at all? Huh? What's your name, sailor? <laughs> oh, he didn't say Ivana Tinkle. Boo! Boo! That's for me to know and for you to find out. I'm just looking around, sir. Oh, God damn it. Mr. Threepwood. Now, before I allow oh. you to pass, do you have any questions? Who the heck are you? My name is Ricardo Luigi Piatenbenga. Ricardo! Call me Admiral Casaba. Admiral Casaba, it is. How'd you get a name like Ricardo Luigi Pierre and Menga Chang Nero O'Hara Casaba the Third? For generations and throughout the world, the Casaba family has enforced the laws of the seas. As a result, we've picked up an interesting and eclectic variety of in-laws. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. What are you doing here? I have been assigned the singular honor of guarding Ozymandrus com- Oh, God, he's an Ozymandrus uh, employee. I have rounded up all of Jambalaya's scrofulous pirate trash and- Scrofulous? What a word. Is that a real word? Until they become productive. Scrofulous. I don't go- Oh. I'm going to look that one up. Hold on. <laughs> Scroff. Scrofulous is on. Is my 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 phone recognizes it as a word? Hold on, where is it? Can you see? It's in the. Uh, it suggests it as a word to fin. To type scrofulous. Search. Let's go. Definition of scrofulous: one of uh, of relating to or affected with scrofula. Two, having a diseased, rundown appearance. A scrofula. Oh my god! Get lost, you flipping cookie settings thing. Oh, or uh, also morally contaminated as well. So I suspect it means you're just having a, uh, a rundown appearance and being morally contaminated. But I want to know what scrofula is. That doesn't. Is it going to do anything? Oh, it's doing something. Oh, it's tuberculosis of lymph nodes, especially in the neck. Well, there you go. I've learned something. How many of Nutton's pirates have been allowed to return to Jambalaya? Oh, only a handful. It's deucedly slow, re-educating them one at a time, you know. Luckily, I hear that Mr. Mandrill has some sort of secret plan to re-educate them all at once. Is this what the... Is this what the ultimate insult does? 
Why are you firing cannonballs at innocent pirates? Mr. Threepwood, it is my experience that there are only two kinds of pirates. Those who are committing acts of wanton savagery. Wanton savagery, huh? Willing to commit acts of wanton savagery. If you allow groups of the latter to congregate... Baby, I'll commit wanton savagery on you. ...mobs of the former. What was that middle part again? I think I'll just be on my merry way. Good lad. Remember, I'm watching you. Get out of here. Oh, no, I didn't want to come to here again. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. No. How do I get around him? Oh my god, let me go. Let me go. Get out of here. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that again. I don't, can I just go round this way? I can. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> How do I park my bum on nothing at all? It's a beach littered with boulders. Oh, I can go this way. Okay. Can I go down at all? No. No. Bomb. 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 Maybe I need to go around the the other side of his ship. But when I tried that last time, I just ended up going to his ship. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, th I'm there. I'm there. Okay, so come. There we go. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, you can lead a cow to water. What's this shack? It looks like a puppet show. Life. It is a puppet show! It's a food! Well, that's obvious, naturally, but what about who are you? Arr, I be Hellbeard, the unrepentant. Hellbeard. Of the seven seas. Hellbeard. I think I've heard of you. Yeah, of course you've heard of me. I'm the nastiest pirate in the world. Wait a minute. Hellbeard the Unrepentant died over 80 years ago. Do I look dead to you? No, you look like a sock. Can I talk to your puppeteer? Puppeteer? Hellbeard the Unrepentant is no my puppet! <laughs> Arr. Come on, let me talk to the puppeteer. Talk to the hand, you nosy scupper scraper. Now I really want to talk to the puppeteer. Talk to the puppeteer. Talk to the hand. Oh, okay. Let's talk to the other puppet. Can I talk to the other puppet? Puppet. There be no puppets here, boy. There be only the unrelenting terror of Hellbeard. <laughs> See ya, Hellbeard. I heard those sarcastic quotes. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let's talk to a little... Oh, no. Didn't want to talk to... No. See ya. I had to talk to the other one. Fine, I'll talk to him. I wanna... Come on, let me talk to the hat. <laughs> Seriously, where's the other puppet? Get this through your lice-infested skull, cabin boy. There be no There be no puppets. Only Hellbeard! Rawr! Come on, let me talk to the puppeteer. Talk to the... Oh, okay, so we're, we're not getting anywhere doing that. Where have you been for the past 80 years? I... Uh, um, uh, look! Over there! Who are you? I'm Hilda. Oh, okay. Of course. Why can I only talk to one of you at a time? Because of that paranoid jerk, Admiral Kasaba. Whenever he sees three or more pirates talking, he assumes they're plotting some sort of mischief. 
So he lobs a cannonball at them. Can't he tell the difference between pirates and puppets? I don't know if you've noticed, but Kasaba's not too bright. I thought the other puppet was Hellbeard. He'd like to think that. Can I talk to your puppeteer? I'd rather you didn't. We're trying to protect him. Come on, let me talk to the puppeteer. Well, all right, but don't... Oh, 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 okay. I'll be as gentle as a baby dolphin. You must be Hellbeard. If you say so, sir. Look, he's like a little gnomey fella. Hello, mate. You don't look like a fearsome pirate to me. Me? A fearsome pirate? You must be mistaken, sir. I wouldn't harm a fly. But you're Hellbeard the Unrepentant. You sacked an entire art. I want to be called Hellbeard the Unrepentant. Do you think that would work well for me? Oh, dear. That sounds far too violent and adventurous for me. I'd like to think so. Why do your puppets look like me and LeChuck? Puppets? Uh, what puppets? Wow. You are a basket case, aren't you? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Yes, sir. Well, if there are any puppets, then why are you in a puppet? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Explain that. This is my home, sir. What? I know it's not much to look at, but it's actually quite roomy. Is it a squash and a squeeze? I can't believe that you live in a puppet theater. It's a humble home, but I'm a humble man. Do you know anything about the ultimate insult? The, the, the ultimate insult? Oh. <laughs> you again. Come on, let me talk to the puppeteer. Talk to the ha If you- I- You again. Can I talk to- Hellbeard? Please, I'm harmless. I think I'll leave you- Thank you. Okay, so if I- Hellbeard, please. Oh, shit. Stop bothering me. I'm harmless, really. I think I'll- Thank you, kind. So if I go to inventory, where's the- Show him the thing of the ultimate insult. Yeah, there we go. So, get that out of the, the pocket and go. Could you Look at this! Uh, what's that? It's a picture of the ultimate insult. <laughs> the ultimate insult? <laughs> He's run off! Come back with the puppets! I want to talk to the puppets again. Hey, oh, he's left his puppets. That's all right. It was just the kind of breakthrough he needed to mend his shattered psyche. Uh, we'll put that away. Take the puppets. This little Guybrush puppet sure is cute. On the other hand, <coughs> this LeChuck. Oh. I better put these away before Kasaba flings a cannonball at me. Good plan. What's this other building? Too heavy. A wash in sand. It's steering days are over. What are you over here? Absolutely bollocks all. All right, what's this big blue and white building then? Pirate something academy? Talk to nice teacher lady. Yes, we absolutely will. <coughs> uh, excuse me, ma'am. What can I do for you, young man? This is kind of a strange place for a school. This isn't your average school, dearie. The dearie. Pirate oh, God, it's him again. Uh, Transmodification? Transmogrification. We take barbaric, foul smelling pirates like yourself, and transform them into prim, productive, and polite members of the emerging consumer-based economy. Th th that's the most nefariously evil thing I've ever heard. Oh, now, now, sweetie. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Rainwashing. Rainwashing. I'm tired of being a slimy pirate. Sign me up. Wonderful. Just go in and take a seat, and you'll soon be on your way to a brighter tomorrow. Good afternoon, sure. My name is Miss Ravers, and I'd like to welcome you to Ozymandias. I thought she said Miss Ravers then. No, it's Rivers. I'm, sorry, I'm already not listening to her. 
A journey that will transform you from swashbuckling pirates into healthy, normal, and most of all, productive members of society. And why have you oh. made this? There's a few people here. Because we don't have a choice. No, dear. You've come here because you're scum-sucking pirates who deserve to be dragged into the street and shot like the dogs you are! Yikes. Now then. I see. For the next few hours, we'll be breaking down your antisocial pirate defense mechanisms and replacing them with more acceptable, marketable, behavioral traits. This could take a while. Why don't you come back later? First, let's have a frank talk about- Oh, he was talking to us. <laughs> I thought he was talking to the teacher then. I was like, what? Well, that's why keel hauling is mad. Very nice, young ya. Now, class, let's move along to your final exam. Three questions that will account for 90% of your- Oh, I think I hear movement outside. So that probably means I've got to say good, good night to my kids, which means I'll be taking a break. Uh, Yes, ma'am. For a couple of minutes. The opposite sex rebuffs your advances. In a moment. How do you cope? I chalk it up as a learning experience and move on. Mm-hmm. Now then, Guybrush. Yes, Miss Rivers? Although I can still hear my son shouting at the Xbox, so... What's your response? I just say no to Grog. I politely decline, but offer to buy the stranger's next drink. I join my new best friend in an extended round of binge grogging. I accept the grog, poison his own, and steal his treasure. But I have to go to the bathroom. Do you know what? I'll answer this in just a second. I will be right back. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please enjoy this ad. Oh, oh, I've done. oh there we go. I forgot. To, I've for, still forgotten to turn that Dave of Pumpkins thing off. I'm going. I'm going to do it right now before I forget. Uh, channel points. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Manage rewards. I've had to turn all the the, the webcam filters off because they've stopped working, which is really annoying. Um, but there we go. No more David Pumpkins. It's nearly time for the Christmas one to come out, though. And that one get that one gets abused normally. That one gets proper abused on a, on a regular basis. Well, it certainly has when I've when I've had it on, you know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you argue that David S. Pumpkin should be all year round. It wouldn't be so special if he was all year round. You've got to save him for the Halloween streams, you know, the October streams. Bye, David Pumpkins, for another year. Nearly time for you better watch out. We'll get that going by late November. What do you reckon? Um, anyway, I should probably. What answer? So we got. <coughs> Just say no to Grog. I politely decline. Do you know what? Let's go for the. I accept the Grog poison his own and steal his treasure because that's. Accept the Grog. Yeah. Poison his own and steal his treasure. Ah. Ah. Just rude, Mr. Threepwood. Jeez, and I thought I was a heartless savage. Now, Mungo. Yes? What's in your mouth, young man? Pirate spitting tobacco, ma'am. Spitting tobacco. For everyone? Actually, yes. Well, that's hard. Arr. We don't allow pirates. Oh, yeah, I suppose my raid, uh, my raid thing is, is fitting, isn't it? Sorry, ma'am. Now then, Mungo. Yes, ma'am? A Mungo. approaches you and asks for the time. How do you respond? Uh, I don't know how to tell time. I see. <laughs> okay, so I like Mungo. Yes? Your tofu burger is delivered medium well. Ooh, tofu burger. Explicit request for medium rare. How do you react? I burn the restaurant to the ground and string the chef up by his kidneys. <laughs> Yeah, we're going with that one. Uh, I raise a big stink, questioning the ancestry of the chef and his entire staff. I politely send the burger back to the chef, or I quietly... Oh, eat the burger. I quietly eat the burger, thankful for the uh, substance. I was reading that as I quietly wrap the burger, and I thought, that's not right. I burn the restaurant to the ground. I 
burn the restaurant to the ground and string the chef up by his kidneys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Rivers, Guybrush is hampering my ability to learn. Mungo. Yes, sir? You see a man accosting another with a sword. What do you do? I run the attacker through with my trusty sword, Winnie. Hmm. And Yanya? Yes, Miss Rivers. While delivering Christmas toys to orphans on a nearby island, you Christmas notice toys a to orphans. ship that's obviously taken on too much cargo. What do you do? I hail the captain of the passing vessel and ask him if he needs any assistance. Good. Alrighty then. Now she sounds like... Mungo. Yes, ma'am? <sighs> reading a book of poetry... She sounds like... What's the name of... From Toy Story? What's your J Jessie, the, the cowgirl? Is it Jessie? Keeping. Ah. That's her name, right? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> After drinking too much grog... It sounds like her, anyway. 20 years teases you about your haircut. What is your reaction? I have a good chuckle at my own expense and toast my friend's rapier-like wit. Mm-hmm. And finally, Mr. Threepwood. Yes? Your captain has plotted a course directly through the heart of the Devil's Triangle. How do you react? Kill him. I organize a mutiny among the crew, all the while deciding which ones I'll eat. Yeah, eat at the mutiny. If the mutiny fails, okay. Uh... I tried to persuade the captain that traveling into the triangle is a really bad idea. To appease the gods of the triangle, I make a blood sacrifice of the cabin boy. I brush off my irrational fear of the triangle with a laugh and return to my duties. Ooh. The first one or the third one? We're definitely killing the cabin boy. To appease the gods of the triangle, I make a blood sacrifice of the cabin boy. Miss <laughs> Rivers, I'm feeling sick to my stomach. Well, I've added up all your scores, and I must say that I'm very unhappy. Mungo, I'm afraid you didn't pass. Your heart oh, is poor Mungo. Dear, but your brain is somewhere cold and dark and covered with spiders. Oh, that sounds like I'm me. I'm flunking you, too. Why? I got every answer right! Yes, dear. But your attitude sucks. This is horribly unfair. So's life, sweetie. Get used to it. And then we have Guybrush. Guybrush, Guybrush. Guybrush, 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 Guybrush. I've been teaching Guybrush. this course for months. And I can safely say... ...that you're the single worst student I've ever met. I've picked lint out of my belly button with more learning potential than you. Now, in order to... Oh my god, a dunce's cap. ...darken my school's doorstep again, and to stigmatize you for the rest of your hopefully short life, I'm strapping this dunce cap... She's not so nice. When we started talk to, talking to her, she was identified as a nice teacher, and she's not a nice teacher at all. get out of my classroom and never How? Yeah, I may be a dunce, but at least I'm a mighty pirate dunce. Yeah. <laughs> we got a dunce's hat now. Fantastic. No, 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 no. I don't want to go back in. Uh, okay, I guess we are. Maybe I should be going. Oh, that door didn't look healthy. I wanted to. I saw the fire alarm. I'm going to use the fire alarm. Where are you going, Kybush? Oh, you're walking all the way around. Is that it? Okay. You weirdo. Never try this at home, boys and girls. False fire alarms cost lives. But you're a mighty pirate. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> I jumped a mile at that. <laughs> I have to clip that just to see the look on my face. Oh, come on, Guybrush. Come on, Guybrush. Come on, Guybrush. There we go. You're around. You go. Yeah. Uh huh. We're in. Right, what are we doing now? We're in. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Mungo's chewing tobacco. No thanks. I've got enough bad habits as it is. 
up the whistle. Oh. Not you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Um. Get out! Now I remember why I dropped out of school. I got a whistle. Do you know, I just realized I got my uh, mouse pointer right in the middle of the screen. Is that it for this place? Can I go any further this? No, I can't go any further that way. Can I walk down the beach at all? By walk, I mean, I mean sprint. Nope. How about this way, past this hut? Yes. That's when I sliced open his pancreas. Hi there. You idiot! What do you think you're doing? Whoa. What's the matter? Yes, you ignoramus! Oh. Get out of here! Fire! Uh, you may want to move a couple of feet to your left. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. Now go away so I can resume my discussion with the delightful Miss Daisy. The delightful Miss Daisy. Who are you, you annoying little miscreant? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. And you are? Jumbo Lafitte, last of the Lafitte oh. Pirates. He is real. Are you aware that you've got a pair of parrots on your shoulders? Really? I hadn't noticed. Was that sarcasm? You know, I can't really tell anymore. In any event, these are, in fact, my parrots. I call them hugging and kissing. You're joking. You're not joking. Which parrot's hugging and which one's kissing? I can't believe I just asked that. I don't know. <laughs> they're identical twins. It's too bad, too. Why? Because they're special. I love hugging and kissing. Parrots. Special how? Do they sing light operas? Of course not. But they are cursed with powerful voodoo magic. How so? One of them always tells the truth. The other one always lies. Isn't that right, fellas? Ah, yes. Ah, no. Oh, if I knew which one was which, they would be tremendous. I sense a puzzle. As it is, they're rather annoying. You're awfully large. Figured that one out all by yourself, did you? Not very polite. Jumbo Lafitte. Any relation to Tiny Lafitte? Tiny Lafitte was my father. I'd like to talk some more about your father. Was he really called Tiny the Friendly Pirate? No! My daddy was everything a real pirate should be. Violent, vulgar, psychotic. Pirates lined up for miles to spit on his grave. <laughs> if Tiny was such a great pirate, then what's with the Tiny the Friendly Pirate statue? It's those soulless cretins at Ozymandrel Enterprises. They're using my father's name and images happy icons for their new family-friendly Jambalaya Island. Those jerks. Are you sure you weren't adopted? After all, you're so big. Oh, okay. So tiny. You should have seen my mother. She was a large... Does he know what happened to the hat? ...a monkey island tattooed on her butt. So? Actual size. Ugh. Oh, my God. What happened to Tiny's statue? I happened to it. Come again? Aha. Uh -huh. A touch of authenticity to their precious statue. Mandrel's flunkies bronzed my father's captain's hat and welded it to the statue. Enraged by this sacrilege, I gathered some pirates and raided Jambalaya Island. Before anyone knew what happened, I rescued my father's chapeau, returned to Nutton at Chapeau. And buried my treasure. Your father would have been... Where? 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 Tell me where. Tell me where. ...mandrel to hire Kasaba to patrol the waters of Nutton. Now, Nutton Atoll is nothing more than a prison for recalcitrant pirates who don't share Ozymandrel's vision. Vision. One pirate to another. 
Where did you bury your father's bronze hat? I don't know. What? I know I buried it under a boulder along the beach. Boulder. I just don't know which one. Ah. Uh... If I find your father's hat, can I borrow it? I don't know. Why do you want it? I'm going to use it to crush Ozymandrel like a bug. Really? Oh, that's great! If you can find it, feel free to use it. He's a nice one, this Jambalaya. This is obviously a painful subject. Okay. Okay. Don't get up. I'll see myself out. Goodbye, little pirate. <laughs> little pirate. Bye, little pirate. Oh, wait, what was that? I saw something about... A oh, right. Okay, just back to the crummy pirate. Boulder. So what did he say? It was a boulder along the beach. Wait, did I go the right way? Can I go? If I go back this way. Oh god. I'm out of here. I go this way down the beach. Is this where the boulders are? Oh, <laughs> I just took me here. Ah. Uh... How do I figure this out then? How do I? Jambalaya Island, three kilometers. Right, well, I forgot my inventory now. Painting, the heirlooms, aesthetic parts, the whistle. Ooh. Hmm, kind of sounds like a parrot. I guess there aren't any parrots within range. So I, can, I can summon his parrots? I guess there aren't any parrots within range. I guess there aren't any parrots within I'm out of here! So is it one of the boulders on this screen, then? I don't think he'd like that. How about, how about this other side of the screen? Can I go down this way? Oh, I can Oh, my God! Geez, that's a lot of boulders. How am I ever going to find the oh, right one? Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Use them here. Okay, we got parrots. Why do we need the parrots? Do they know where it's buried? Are you the parrot that always tells the truth? Ah, yes. I don't think that told me anything. Don't fly away! No! Come back! Oh my god. Oh, the back, the back. It's fine. Oh, so they swap round. Oh, crap. I understand now. I get it. I get it. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? South! We don't know if that's the one that's... Hmm. We've got to figure out which pirate's which. Well, they swap round every time. They ask them a question, so it's going to be difficult to... Hmm. Alright, let's have a look at my inventory. What have we got? Dunce's cap. How we put a dunce's cap on one of them? I don't think he'd like that. He, we cannot do that, no. I'd better put these away before Kasaba thinks we're conspiring against him and shoots his cannon at me. Okay, so we can't. I can't use those at all. Monkey mug. Coupon. Glue. Oh sure. Oh. The grog. 
Remember what he said about the Grog and it being only strong enough to to do in a, a, a thin parrot or something like that. Left or right? We'll just use it on the left one. <laughs> we made it drunk. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you the parrot that always lies? Uh, heck no! Uh, I don't think that told me anything. <laughs> okay, so we've got a drunk parrot. Oh, oh, he's off. Is he still going to be drunk when he comes back? Oh, yeah, here we go. So he's on the right now. So... Two plus two. That must have been the truth-telling parrot. So the truth-telling parrot is sober. A. So he's on the right this time. Okay. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? South. South. Um. South as I'm seeing it then, so towards the camera. Oh, this is going to get tedious though. Walk south. Do I have to use the... I assume I have to use the, uh, the whistle again to get them over here. No. Here they come. <laughs> uh, put it away again. Wait, which one was drunk? The one on the right, so the one on the left. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? <laughs> East. East. This is, this is definitely going to take a while, right? East. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well... Okay, so the one on the left is a drunkard. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East. East again. And we gotta wait, and then we gotta walk, and then we gotta get the thing out and blow it again, and wait for them to come back, and then ask. Oh. East. One on the left is sober. The one on the right is still drunk. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? East. East again. Am I just accidentally... No, I can't be. On the right this time. Oh my god. Anyone got anything nice planned for the week? Other than work? I've got to work. I've just got to work. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? I might. Oh, not so. I might go to the shops at some point. How's that for interesting? Buy something nice for our tea. Oh, do you know what? I suddenly just fancy. Like, you know, like those family-sized lasagnas you can get from Tesco and stuff. 
Just the work stuff you're forced to do, yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Left. Is tiny Lafitte Work stuff, gym stuff, study stuff. No. Mm, I know that that parrot always tells the truth, so... Tiny Lafitte's hat must not be here. I thought I'd give it a go. Right, they're flying off again. Left or right, what do you reckon? Left. I mean, right. I forgot my left and my right. That's probably a bad sign. God, say east again. Where should I go to find Tiny's hat? East. Oh my god. Am I actually going any further east? I'm thinking about streaming more Plague Tale uh, on, on Friday. I've been quite enjoying it. I hope people are as well. I feel like th th the ship's moving further along the screen, so I definitely am moving. I definitely am going east. I'm not just wasting my time. I mean, I am wasting my time as well, because this is fucking boring. Anyone know any pirate jokes? Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? <laughs> Nowhere! Oh my god! That parrot always tells the truth, so... Tiny Lafitte's hat must be buried under this rock! How the f... How do I dig it up now, though? I'm... Oh my Is god, I didn't think of that, did I? If my clever use of the parrots was correct, the bronze hat is under this immense rock. Uh, I don't have, like, a shovel or anything. Get him to, sh get him to shoot at us. There we go. Hi there, little Guybrush. Hi there, big Guybrush. Hi there, little Lechuck. Arr, ahoy there, big Guybrush. There you go. They, they don't have any pirate jokes. The pirates might steal them. Yeah, there we go. What's on your mind, little Guybrush? I didn't say the shovel. No, I had to put the shovel back for the next pirate. I think Admiral Kassab is a big dope. Don't you? Well, I don't know, little Guybrush. What do you think, little Lechuck? I think little Guybrush wouldn't know a real pirate if it stabbed him in the liver. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nubble? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sniffer. Unemployed layabout. Guys. Pirate poser. Uncultured corpse. Girly man. Uh, I really think that's loud enough to catch Kasaba's attention. Jerk. Idiot. Nimrod. Dork. Uh, I've obviously got some deep-seated issues to work out here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jerk. Idiot. Nimrod. Dork. Why those, those... Well, this video is not playing at the correct resolution. What's going on here? How dare they plot against my benevolent... At least we can see it. Oh, Nimrod, who... Oh, wish... Do we have to, sir? Oh, you've unlocked a memory and I couldn't tell you who, Nim who, who did the Nimrod album. Who was it? Green Day, of course it was, fuck's sake. <laughs> I wanted to say Blink-182, but it wasn't. I was like, no. Fire! I blew up the puppets. Wow, here it is. The bronze hat of Tiny Lafitte. Yes. Okay, so we got the bronze hat. We got the silver monkey head. And now we need the gold... Oh, we need the diving thing. Oh, God, okay. No. No, wrong button. We need the diving trophy. Oh, cool. I'm back on... I'm back on the island. Hey Stan. So let's go to the, the the diving man. Uh 
I'm back. So I see you. Now I'm ready to dive against you now. So, you've managed to get yourself certified. Uh, no. Oh, shit, yeah, I gotta do that. I just remember. Like, where are the judges, though? They're not south. Oh, wait. No, the path takes me back to the. Oh, I can go up here. Okay. Uh, where are the judges then? There they are. Hello. Oh, there's the diving trophy. Excuse me. Hey, hey, little dude. Little dude, what's wrong with that guy's mouth? What the fuck? I'd like to take a crack at winning that diving trophy. You and dozens of other gold hunting wannabes. If you wish to dive, you must be certified first. Okay. We could leave ourselves open to most grievous lawsuits if we let physically uncool people try to dive. Now, if you just step behind the table... There won't be any word problems, will there? Hey, what are you doing with that? Please turn to the right, dude. You're not gonna put that there, are you? Now then, let me know when this begins to hurt. Ouch! I dare not think what they're doing to him. Another thing, I think the staple gun was completely uncalled for. Be that as it may, you have passed the physical. Really? Don't act so shocked. You'd have to be a palsy-ridden grandmother to fail. Here's your certificate. Feel free to challenge our champion dive. Okay. Whenever you want to dive. Okay. I want to... I don't... I want to get back that. Oh, there we go. Let the computer do the walking for me. There we go. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Oh, Guybrush, you all right? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, there we go. Phew. Okay. <laughs> he, he, had, he had a moment. Guybrush had, had a little moment. It's fine. It's fine. Qualifying scores. So... Are you challenging me to a dive off then? Uh, you better believe it. What time? What time is it? Oh, it's about ten o'clock. Oh. We'll give the diving a go. Let's give the diving a go. Alpha monkey, kill hall combination. Let's give him complete silence. Shh. Oh! Oh, that went wrong again. That's fine. The di the diving animations broke. Don't worry about it. Don't you know, don't worry. Oh, he looks sure of himself. This game loves its long animations, doesn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh, I can press buttons. Anything happening? Has it crashed? Oh, don't don't crash on me. Oh, phew, I swear, okay. He was just invisible, that's fine. Wasn't that bad, was I? Rants. The winner and the steel all world prank diving champion is uh. Marco de Pollo. Pardon me. What? What was wrong with my last dive? It sucked. Could you be more specific? Nope. Fine. 
Why are you giving me such low scores? Look, kid, it's nothing personal. It's just that I've got... Personal. ...an expensive red-headed wife, two expensive red-headed kids, and an expensive red-headed dog to feed, you follow? Not really. Then let me spell it out for you. Mr. Mandrill pays me a lot of money to make sure that... Ah, oh, it's rigged regardless of whether or not I suck. Uh, oh dear. I think I'll leave you to your grouchiness. Whatever. Pardon me. Yes, Grasshopper. One of your judges is taking bribes. Oh, we got the uh, Mr. Miyagi kind of uh, character here. The old wise. He told me he was taking bribes. Is anyone here taking bribes? The old wise man. If I were you, I'd refrain from making baseless accusations in the future. The the bad, the bad, Ch uh, not Chinese, Japanese stereotype. I didn't listen to that at all. The perfect diver should leave no trace of the diver upon the water. As you seek perfection in your dives, seek perfection in your splashes. Are you saying that my splashes are too big? Yes. You might try making your form more uh, aerodynamic, like that of a swordfish. Aerodynamic. Aloha. May your life be big. And your splashes be So, he likes small splashes. Excuse me. The <gasps> grumpy one, I don't know. He's, he's bribed to always m make uh, Marco win. What was wrong with my... What about this dude? Uh, you really didn't get into the flow of Depoyo's groove, man. Say what? Hey! You gotta match the Poyo's moves if oh. you wanna be the dude. But how? Well, basically, there are four types of moves allowed in plank diving, man. Well, first you got the keel haul, you know, a mellow, swan-like move that you... Oh, oh. ...by lifting your nose up in the air. Up. Up. Next is the rum barrel, man. The somersault move that's easy to do by shoving your chin down into your chest. Rum barrel, down, check. The third move is the spinning swordsman, man. That's a dangerous vertical spin that should only be started to the right. Spinning swordsman? S spinning. Okay. Finally, there's the alpha monkey, a chest pounding maneuver that always Sword. starts with the left hand. Alpha monkey left. Right. Good. Okay, bro. Pay attention to the moves that DeBoyo makes, you know? Alpha monkey. Catch him. For example, on his last dive, he did a keel haul. Alpha left. Keel haul. Combination. So, if you want to match. All right, okay, I've got it written down. On <laughs> my little notepad. What was the what was the what was the down one? Well, first you Keel holes up. Next is rump barrel. The somersault move is easy to do by shoving your chin down into your chest. Rum barrel, down, check. The third move is the spin. I'm gonna look at these notes next week, because I'm not doing it now. And I'm gonna wonder what the hell I'm on about. <laughs> Finally, there's the alpha monkey. A alpha monkey. We, we, we got all that. There we go. Up, left, up. <laughs> up, left, up. See you later. Do you know what I'm going to do then? Woo! Oh, yeah. All right. I like that note. I'm going to save that. There we go. It'll be hard if they don't show Poyo's moves. Well, no, because it, it announced at the beginning of the it announced at the beginning of the dive what he was doing, and then he did it. So I'll be able to just do it from the audio. So it doesn't matter whether or not I can see the animation. Uh, there we go. But we'll we'll come to that. Problem. I need to figure out how to make myself uh, aerodynamic as well. So. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> We're not going back to the desktop, sorry. So I need to figure out how to make myself aerodynamic and also get around the problem of the fact 
that that other judge was being bribed and also how do we stop Marco from being so good as well? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But do you know what? I'm thinking about it now, but I'm not going to do it now. I need to think about it next week. Next week, we'll continue with some more Monkey Island at, you know, <coughs> 8 o'clock UK time, Sunday. That's what we'll do, right? That sounds good. Uh, and then we'll do the sh same again uh, on Friday as well. Not the same again as in Monkey Island, but the same again as in we'll do uh, da -da -da -da, a play tale Requiem. So that'll, that'll be us. Friday, Sunday, 8 p.m. UK time. Come watch again, please. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Tom FTW. That's what we're watching right here. That's what you're watching. That's what that's who I am.